Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ricky Williams coming back at you with another uh, website slash shoe review. Um, I went back to them guys. I tried them again. Um, repbeast.com. For those who don't know, that's www.repbeast.com. Got some replica kicks, uh, replica shoes. These are not, or nor am I trying to pass these off as genuine Nike, etc. products. Um, Again, my disclaimer here for you guys, as a consumer, please beware, be the fuck aware. You're spending your money, you earned it, the hard, the good old fashioned way, or the easy way, it doesn't really matter. Um, please uh, be aware and deal with a website or vendor that takes care of you in the way you want them to take care of you and give you the product that you're looking for. Okay, I bought five pairs of shoes for you guys, it's actually six, the six pairs, a pair of 28s. Um, I can show you guys those if you want to. Um, I'll try to slide them in, but I'm trying to make this video short and sweet. Um, so you guys know what you're dealing with. And can't, you know, just to be honest with you guys, I'm putting these videos up. I'm spending my money, um, hopefully to refer you guys to see what replica shoes are like and, you know, see what products you can or can't get from them. So if you don't mind, please rate, comment, and hit that fucking like button if you like what I'm putting out here. Because again, what I'm trying to do by spending my money while saving money is also save you guys some money so you're not buying a product or service that you're not happy with. So here we go. Uh, first pair, I bought these for my nephew. Um, he needed a new pair of ball shoes. Um, the 2013 Hyperdunks. Grand Black. Right? Check these out. I checked out both shoes. I'm not going to put both of them up here because I'm trying to keep the video short, guys. But they are identical. Uh, the fly wire looks good on both of them. There is some slight gluing issues where it's like overflowing, like right here on the sole. Right here on the sole. Um, but that's that's really all I've seen. Uh, the tongue looks kind of flimsy where the netting's at, but otherwise, it's a good filling leather. Not top quality, but it feels pretty good, um, and it looks the part. It's it's a really decent looking shoe, guys. It, it looks really good. It's really light too. This joint is it's really light. It weighs like hardly nothing. Just some guys. Just so adjust a little so we can see all of the shoe. Right. So all in all, that's a, it's a really decent replica, guys. Um, scale of one to ten, with ten being general, I give this a eight. And that's only because the glue on you it's so apparent, right, on both of the shoes. So I don't know if he gonna because he uh, he needed some new ball shoes. This is mainly what I use basketball shoes for when I get them from replica sites for for so we can ball in. I mean I don't know if he's gonna bust out the side of those because of that glue. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it's enough glue in there to hold it in. But otherwise, the ton is pretty good, a little flimsy. But otherwise, all, all in all, a good replica, re replica guys. Um, and I'm giving them to him for free, so he can't trip about it, right? So uh, that's pair one. Pair two. I bought these for my buddy at work. Uh, he seen the pairs I got, so he wanted a pair. The Nike LeBron, the Nike LeBron Elevens. Size 10, he's a little foot motherfucker, right? And to be honest with you, man, I, I got to give him props again. I give props and loves what love is due. They LeBron 11 is, is ridiculous at Red Beast, man. I mean, I, you really can't tell these bitches from the authentics. I mean, they, they off the chain with them LeBron 11s, yo. Real tizzy. Off the real tizzy. And these motherfuckers right here, these ain't got no sole issues, you know, where they had like the uncut soles. These motherfucking LeBrons, these are the perfect LeBrons they had. Even them motherfuckers is on point, B. But I checked out both of the shoes. The fly the fly wire is tight. I mean these they they, they LeBrons. These LeBron elevens is the real deal, man. Real shit. I am not mad with them about them LeBron 11s. Again, these motherfuckers, cause just because they're not 
scale of one to ten, just because they're not real, I gotta get these bitches a nine and a half, man. They got them down. They got them the them LeBron Elevens down pack, yo. Real talk. These good job, Red Beast. No doubt. No doubt. Good job. Um, third pair, guys. Bought me another pair of ball shoes. The Zoom Soldier Twos. Black and white edition, Oreo, whatever you want to call them, double stitched. I was really impressed with these two, man. Really impressed. The only thing I think you like the leather. Like I, I, I wanted some of these. The leather is good, but it's it doesn't have that. I don't know. It just doesn't have the same feel that the the real shoe got. I think it's it's probably we all know it's probably a cheaper quality leather, right? Probably. You know, B grade leather, but I mean, look, man, it's the same goddamn shoe. And my guy just went spend 125 on his. I got these for 55. Come on, man. As long as they hold up, I mean, what the fuck? I can't complain, man. What the fuck? Hold on, I think I see something. Wait, wait, wait. I think they fucked up. I, don't, I can give a fuck to be honest with you guys. I give a fuck to be honest, but I think I caught him slipping. Hold on. I'm going to get the other shoe because I really looked these over. Yeah, they got Jumpman soles in them, yo. Hold on. Let me show you. Look, they gave me some LeBrons with a Jumpman sole. And then it's a fucked up Jumpman. Oh wells, I can care less. Y'all know me. Uh, but yeah, they still look good. I'm gonna fuck with them. I'm gonna fuck with them still, even though they gave me the wrong souls. I could care less. But like I said, you know, I'm paying less than half retail. Less than half retail, guys. Less than half retail. So you can't be mad, right? You can't be mad at it. You know, if it was you, you'd fuck up some. If you were sending out products all over the goddamn world, getting your dollars, right? So would I recommend this shoe? I would recommend you try it out if you're a baller. Because that's the only reason I'm going to wear these. To get my ball on. All right. Uh, scale of one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst. I give them about an eight, eight and a half. I go even a nine. The only reason I'm not giving them a closer a nine and a half because the insole. But if somebody's studying that, they need some fucking business. Right. Right. A pair from a wife. Air Max ninety, premiums, all black editions. These shoes, they just do right, man. I, I really don't have to go over these with you guys. If you guys are Air Max fans, I highly recommend you fucks with them. Because they get these bitches right. They get them right, plain and simple. It's just a clean shoe. My wife tried them on already. They feed her feet. She wear nine and a half girls. She rocking them bitches to work because she needs some all black shoes for work. You can see they don't fuck up on the glue or nothing on these babies, boy. I'm telling you, them Air Maxes. Ooh, get you some. Get you some, dog. Because they is crispy. You feel what I'm saying? Get at your boy. All right. My second pair. What? The LeBron Nines. I've been wanting to pair these, but couldn't find a colorway that I like. These is... Uh, Cannon boat slate blue and orange. That's a bunch of colors. I care, but I mean these motherfuckers is on point. As I say again, they they. I mean for all my other shoes, I'm going with them from now on without thinking twice about it. You know, but them Jordans, man. You want them Jays? You're gonna have to pay for them perfects if you want that quality, man. That's where they're getting us at. That's where they get us at. They say, oh, we'll do the other. Not in demand shoes, just fine, right? This is no problem to do them, right? But them J's, you gonna pay for them J's if you want the clean ones. 
So again, I recommend to all you guys, when you fuck with the Jordans, go ahead and just pay for the perfects. Go ahead and separate yourself for that 90, that 90, 95, 93, wherever they charging at the time. Because then you know when you get them, you're going to be all right with them, right? You buy two pairs of Jordans at 50, you could have had one pair that was right. You know what I'm saying? But again, you're not paying retail, guys. You're not paying retail. So you're going to have to bite the bullet somewhere. I think they charge too much and you, you know it's not a real shoe. But you got to bite the bullet for the look, man. Y'all know how to play the game. We all got to play it. Okay, so these I get these a nine out of a uh, scale of one to ten. I get these bad babies a nine. I checked out both shoes again. Both of them match up exactly. No funny business. And again, I hear these are one of the most comfortable shoes to ball in. I'm a ball in these tomorrow. Tomorrow, because I got bad feet and I love basketball. I'm 40 years old. I still get out there and do my thing. But my feet is bad. Here's a plan. I've been playing since I was, I don't know, nine years old. Right? Alright, so that's that. Um, last pair, I gotta open these up. Open these up because I closed them. Um, I got a pair of the 28s. My, I didn't get them. My, my guy at work got them. He wanted me to order them from. But like I said, I'll be rocking them perfects at work. Motherfucker's like, ooh, Rick, you got the J. Yep, yep, had to pay for them. But he wanted the 28s. So we got them. These, as you can see, they came in a the bag, right? Now I seen these in the stores. I'm all American. This sole is the exact. It's the exact same texture, exact same material, right? Got that split in. Got the the flight plate. That bitch is hard and tight, right? The car, phony carbon fiber on the, what's the name? On the heel. Gonna zip these bad babies. Just like the Jays. These, I'll, I'm pretty impressed with these, but these ain't, this is, this is not a hard shoe to make in all honesty, guys. Right? It's just a sheath with the insole. These shoes can't be too tough for them to make. Right? But these is crispy. I can't even lie to him. He, 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 I mean, and the sole is on point. It got the cushioning all on the inside. Yeah, he gonna like these, yo. He gonna dig them. Yeah, that motherfucker's crisp. Right? So we know they're not using the same exact materials that Mike used, you know what I'm saying, that Jordan or Jumpman used. So, I mean, you know you're going to have to give to get. But um, with these, I'll give these a, I'll give these a good nine, though. A good nine. I mean, because if you didn't know no better, ain't nobody going to know no better. The only, the only question I would have is how they hold up under hooping. 28, a.k.a. bite off the Gary Paytons. All right. Uh, shipping took a little longer this time. It took about nine days. Um, Custom was holding my shit in the shy. So it took him a little longer to get it to me. Uh, but, like I said, we got... Shit, I don't know how many pairs for 300 or something. When these by itself, 200. Y'all know how it might do this. But, hey, man, that's it. Um, again... Please, at the bottom, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm going to order some... Perfects here probably by the end of this weekend. They'll probably be here sometime seven to ten days, you know. Um, and I'll get you guys another video up. But Rep Beast, yo, I gotta give you love when love is due. And this order is on point. They gave me some free socks, like I give a fuck. But hey, they was free. Um, and yo, that's it. That's all I got, man. I thought I was gonna be short, still a 14 minute video. But hey, like my shit, comment, subscribe, comment to my shit. Subscribe to my shit. It's your boy Last Days, Ricky Williams, a.k.a. Whatever.